We all know those moments in our lives when we're studying God's word and it's just another text, but we're just reading a book. But then there's those moments when you get in God's word and you hear his voice. And he speaks to you in an audible way. And you realize that the God of all the universe loves you. Can you imagine how profound this must have been in Samuel's life? What a privilege for us to know that through the power of the Holy Spirit residing in us and with the word of God in front of us, we have the opportunity to experience, at least to some measure, what Samuel experienced in that moment every day of our lives. I think here in Samuel, we just, as we just look at these first 10 verses, we get a good picture of what it means to be great for God. You know what it means, what it looks like to be great for God? It means that wherever you're at today, you're serving in faithfulness. You may not be where you want to be, but I can tell you this, God has you right where he wants you. And your job is just to be faithful. And I know some days it's hard it can be incredibly difficult. One of the most difficult things to do can be just to trust God in the simple, ordinary things when you're in the midst of a darkness or you're in the midst of some kind of trial. The picture is you want to be great for God, just trust him in the daily, ordinary activities of life wherever you're at. 